Here's why your labs could be coming back normal, even though you're experiencing a lot of estrogen dominant symptoms. Specifically, things like pain around ovulation and cysts are clear signs of estrogen dominance. Blood labs are actually not the full picture of your hormones. So it's telling you what's happening in, in a specific moment in time. It's kind of like a screenshot. So you are only getting that little snidbit of information when you took that blood lab. Yes, these labs can be helpful. They're not the full picture. Your hormones also do not just live in the blood. They can store up in your tissues, which is where this more estrogen dominant symptoms are coming from, especially around ovulation. That is when estrogen is at its peak. And if your body is struggling to then detoxify that estrogen, because that's what has to happen, your body takes those hormones you're making and then has to then detox them through the liver. But if your liver is not detoxifying properly, what can happen is that estrogen can then be reabsorbed back into your tissues and lead to more estrogen dominant symptoms, especially if this is happening cycle after cycle. This is what I like to call the rollover effect. Higher levels of estrogen are gonna lead to more growth Growth. So that's where things like cysts, polyps, even endometriosis can come in. Your body has this excess estrogen, so it's creating these overgrowths. The moral of the story is listen to your symptoms always first. You are not crazy. Even if your labs come back normal, keep digging deeper. I would still be supporting estrogen detoxification, supporting progesterone levels, and especially liver support. Let me know if you want me to make another video diving into these topics. Hope that helps.